I want to talk a little bit about sewing for your dog. Um, I have limited Scout's toys. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Um, simply because he's teething and he's a chewer. And I have a lot of toys that I had washed completely, left over from Coco, um, that are like sheep or uh, different things. You see what he's doing right now? He's taking one of the toys I've made and um, chomping on it, which means he loses that one. And I give him another one that doesn't have any loose threads on it. Um, and he'll be insistent a little bit. Play with that one. Play with that one. That one's not... And so this is one thing you want to do. Um, you can see what he's done to the corner of this. And the reason I take it away from him is because... No, you have others. Um, you don't want him swallowing threads of any kind. Um, simple rectangles that I had made for um, a couple of dogs when I first got Coco. Uh, Coco and Bailey had these and um, stuffed with polyester stuffing and a squeaker toy. Now these are the commercial uh, training dummies. He loves this. It's got a handle on it. He drags it around all over the place. Um, but these have to be washed. You can see it's dirty. So right now he has a choice of three of them. Um, and that one had been ripped before and I re-sewed it. And all you do is um, get a strip of fabric, the width that you want, fold it in half with wrong sides together, sew along three sides, uh, turn it right side out, stuff it with a squeaker toy if you want to add that. You can find those on eBay. And um, let me see if I can get it to squeak. Try that one for a minute. And you can make them out of scrap fabrics. Now, why do I say this when obviously we've got the Kong toys and the Houndo and plastic and rubber? He is teething. He's five months old. Um, I don't know when they when they stop doing that. Um, Beagle. I had looked up Beagle originally because he was supposed to be a Beagle, but I think he's more Foxhound. Um, but beagles at about 10 months can go off their puppy chow and be transferred to adult food. So that's going to be about the schedule I follow. I don't know how that ties in with his teething. I'd have to look it up. But as you can see, um, this is it's exactly what they make for training dummies. is a rectangle that's stuffed. And um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to buy some heavyweight denim and make about five or six of those. What he, and it's a way to kind of trick a dog, especially a puppy. Um, he tends to get bored with some of the Kong toys or the Nyla bones unless I've put food in it. So this is part of transferring him away from um, almost trick training where he gets a treat for everything he does to healthy living where he gets to have something to chew on that's safe. So in fact these pants I have on are extremely heavyweight um, USA denim that I bought by the yard to make my own jeans because um, if you buy jeans they're, um, the cotton is very poor quality now, the denim. So I buy my own denim. I don't have any scraps right now. So I'm going to buy a yard of good denim, and I'm going to make about five of these. And as you just saw, I took one away when he started to chew through it. And I will use a patch of fabric of some kind um, to cover that over and uh, close it off and make it safe again. In other words, you don't want any um, threads or loose ends. This is his favorite towel, and this was another thing that was very easy to sew. I took a bath towel. He seemed to like this one for some reason, and he started to chew the end. So when he starts to chew it, I took it away from him. Now he loves it so much, 
he's less likely to chew it. He knows he's going to lose it if he starts to chew it. So two simple rectangles to sew for any dog. Um, an old bath towel, do the same thing as with the rectangle. Um, take a, uh, in the case of the towel, put the towel on the wrong sides together. Sew around three sides. And on this one, because of the thickness of the fabric, I didn't have the 1591 set up, which is my heaviest duty machine. I ended up sewing the fourth edge by hand with a very heavy duty thread. And I did not do overhand stitching so that it shows. I went through the side, through the side here, and then through the side back and forth like that. You could also do a blind stitch, I guess. But I wanted, um, so you, it, you would see dimples if you really looked at it, because I went through one side and then through the other side to keep it close. So two very simple things that you can make the same way. On these, um, on the fourth end, I, I don't know how I did this one, but you can fold it in and then uh, run your sewing machine along that final edge or sew it by hand the same way. So that gives you toys. And the reason I'm going to go through the expense of buying denim is that he's got big teeth. <laughs> he's such a good dog. You are such a good dog, aren't you? I mean, normally, taking a dog's toy or bone or something away from them or trying to look at their mouth when, when they're chewing is not really easy to do. This is such an advantage to a young dog where um, at a level of trust. But it, I think it, it, it got reinforced because he keeps picking things up to eat and I have to keep opening his mouth and sticking my hand in it to get them out. But you can see he enjoys this toy. So I'm going to make five of them. I'm only going to give him maybe two at a time. And so, when I have to wash this because it's dirty, I'll give him another one and he'll never know the difference. And um, you can just supply yourself and your dog very simply. So far I'm still going to use my Singer 237 because the zigzag, um, and I have it, I took the motor off, I have it set up as with the Bishop hand crank because it's just faster and easier. Also, with the puppy, um, I don't want to take the chance he's going to chew cords. So, if you have a hand crank, um, I would use that. If you don't have a hand crank, just make sure if you have a puppy, you pull the cords up near the machine when you're not sewing. You don't want a dog to chew them. Um, and then you plug it in and the wires are exposed. So, two simple things you can make for a dog. A bed. And he loves this bed. And now I can roll it up and take it anywhere. It has become his place bed. Right? Place. Sewing for your dog.